Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I installed my sew-in using bundles from Eon Hair. They sent over three bundles of their 22 inch light yakki. We're just gonna jump straight into the video. This is how much hair that I left out. I did not want to braid my hair all the way down to the back because my hair is thinner in the back and I don't wanna add any unnecessary tension. I've already done one side, so I'm gonna just show you guys how I braided down this side. All I'm doing right now is making sure that I braid down my anchor braids. And these are the braids that's gonna be near your leave out. So you wanna make sure that they're thin and very very flat i went ahead and tried to make sure that all my other braids are as flat as well because i don't want my sewing to look really bulky and i got a big head so we don't want to make it look any larger than what it already looks i am adding hair to my braids just to make sure that they're secure because my hair does get shorter in the back and i'm just pretty much repeating the same process until i get to the last braid So after that's complete, you want to go ahead and add some hair oil. I've been using this oil lately just to help my hair grow some because I was trying to grow it out at first, but now I think I changed my mind. I went ahead and did my baby hairs and then I just added a wrap around it just so that it can lay down. And this is a mesh weaving cap that I put on before I start sewing my hair down. As I sew my hair down, I make sure that I take the needle under and then wrap the string around two times and pull it through. This helps secure very tightly because if you go from the top, um, it won't be as tight as you would like it, but going underneath first, it always makes sure that the weave is secure as possible. And as I sew my hair down, I always just make sure that I use one single weft in the back and at the top. And then in the center of my hair, I double my tracks. When you double your tracks, it just makes sure that you can fit as many bundles in your hair as you would like. And it also makes the sewing process go faster. I've always liked using light yakky hair for my sewings because it matches my hair texture so much better than Brazilian hair. Even though that my hair is relaxed, it still has a certain texture to it. Even when I go to flat iron it, it still doesn't get as straight as I would like for it to be. Wearing light yakky hair takes the stress off you so you don't always have to worry about if your hair will blend with the extensions or not. So I'm just repeating the same process until I get all the way up to the top. So I only ended up using two of the bundles they sent over and now I'm just going ahead and cutting off the net around my leave out. Now I'm just taking some hair serum and running it through my hair. I try to do my best when it comes to straightening yakky hair because sometimes those little rigid lines don't want to disappear. But if you have a really good straightener, it'll help you get the best results. So now I'm just using the mini flat iron to straighten my leave out. 
I like to do one pass with the straightener and then use the wax stick. And sometimes if I have to, I will go back over again with the straightener. FYI, I am not a hairdresser. This is just what I do to make sure that my leave out matches my hair texture. That's why I say it's better just to get yakky hair. Um, I do know a lot of people complain about heat damage, but to be honest with you, everybody I've seen with sew-ins, especially if you get them routinely, have heat damage. Even with my pixie cut, I don't even straighten my hair often. I just do know that that's a big thing that people complain about with sew-ins, but that's what comes with having a sew-in. More likely to have heat damage. So I just gave myself a few layers and yes, this is just two bundles. I went ahead and tried to curl my hair with my curling arm, but it just wasn't working out. So I ended up using my hair straightener and this just goes to show that it's not always the hair that doesn't curl. It may just be your hot tool that you're using. So I had to switch up to use the flat iron. I did say one day I was going to invest into a really good curling iron, but that t3 one that i want it's like 300 dollars. that's just like really really expensive so it's gonna take me some time before i actually commit to buying that but i think my hair turned out really really nice i did end up cutting it a little shorter because you know it's getting hot outside and nobody really wants like a head full of hair all on their back let me know what you think and i'll make sure that i leave all the hair details down below in the description box and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>